Welcome everybody to Wine with Marco. I'm your host, Marco. What is today? What is today? Today is Wine Down Wednesday. Your boss is up your butt. Your significant other is up your butt. Hey, you might be self-employed. Your employees are driving you nuts. You're going to splurge. You're going to go and splurge and get a higher end wine. Now, remember the scale? What did we say the scale was? Our scale is this, extreme value. 10 and under, 10 to 15, great value, 15 to 20, good value. Hey, you know, you could buy an $18 bottle of wine, but you want to duke an extra $5 in there, go up into the lower $20 bracket because you're feeling good about yourself. That's, that's the 20s. For the purpose of Wednesdays, anything over 30 is considered high end. So let's get into the wine, but first... Knock, knock, who's there? Wineries with all my relationships all over the world. Knock, knock, who's there? Distributors with all my relationships all over the world. We need advertisements so I can get my viewers a little something, something, promotional something, something. Maybe a nice wine duffel bag. Could be a wine key. Could be a little vino. Yes. See, vino, vino. But in the meantime, right there, it says subscribe. Can you give me a little, uh, a little subscription there? Just hit the button. Hit the button. Maybe a thumbs up like you like. Maybe just tell a few friends. We want this wine nation to grow. This Marco wine nation. Into the vino. This is Quest Paso Robles 2017 by Austin Hope. Okay. No hidden secret. I've told you. Great value in Paso, really. I mean, compared to its Napa counterparts and some of its Sonoma counterparts, great value, great wines. Into this, Chuck Hope. His family moved to Paso in 1978 to embark on a new adventure in the early days of California wine industry. Because think about it. I mean, that, that was early in the wine days. So following his dreams of planting grapevines, he became one of the region's largest I repeat, largest grower of cab. He also worked to put Paso Robles on the map, literally playing a key role in establishment of the Paso Robles AVA, which happened in 1983. Uh, Chuck's son, following his father's footsteps, <coughs> excuse me, don't have corona, I'm healthy. Just got a little tick on my throat. By the way, anybody that is dealing with this, well, everyone's dealing with this pandemic, hope you're staying safe, healthy, as best you can in your state and cities, getting back to some type of norm. Uh, but his son wanted to follow in his footsteps and is key to the winery today. Uh, they have, let's see, Trina, Liberty School, uh, Troublemaker, Quest, Quest, which is this one, and my favorite, which is the Austin Hope Cab, which was founded and released their first vintage in 2017. This Quest is a blend of Cabernet, Petit Verdot, Merlot, Cobb Franc, and Petit Syrah. Let's get into that nose. And by the way, I want Wednesdays to be promotional something, something. So, little thumbs up, likey like. Maybe a little subscribe there. But most importantly, where's all my partners at? Where's those wineries with my relationships? Knock, knock. Who's there? Wineries. Come on. Distributors. Knock, knock. Who's there? Come. Want to give away a little something, something. I mean, doing this five days a week. I'd, I'd like at least two of the five days to be something, something. Come on. Into the nose. Schnaz it. Schnaz it. A little snuffle off, I guess. Oh, man. Get a creamy component, like menthol y. And then a just like sweet cow cow. Let's go to the palette. Dark, very dark in color. 
legs. Yep, 14.5. That's why we have legs. Paul Bunyan's here. There is some oak, but it's not crazy. I mean, I wouldn't even say he has a fingernail in that door. So we're, we're good there. Uh, pallet. Mm, yeah. Really creamy. And you get this, like, rich, dark chocolate covered. Like, mint thin. Dark chocolate mint thin. Oh, really good. Mmm. Okay. This is screaming a well-marbled steak with shrooms, mushrooms, rendered down with like a, a nice gorgonzola or Maytag blue cheese reduction. I'm Italian. I'm a little bar part, bi partial to gorgonzola. Sorry. Nothing against you, blue cheese. I, I eat you. I like you. Maytag, I, you're coveted. Oh, definitely. There's some other ones out there, but I tell you, I like the gorgonzola. But uh, yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. So pick up any one of those wines that I said in their line. Um, this one here, this is going to be low 20 sometimes on sale. You might be able to see that good value in 18, 19 bracket. For the most part, you're going to spend 20 to 22 on this bad boy. So really good price for a really great big, huge wine. Um, you want the big brother, the Austin Hope, the dad of the world, the, the big one. You know, you're going to be spending probably 40s, 50s, depending upon what site you're going to. But all of it's good. Liberty School uh, it really is their low-end value, uh, but solid. You know, I love Paso. Like we said, the, the, the heat is very hot there, and the juice gets really extracted. So everybody stay healthy, stay safe. And as we end every video, we say Asalu. Yes, still wearing the shirt. Still haven't taken it off. Lost the bet. It's all right. And superstitious. It will be standing up on its own when it's all said and done. It was washed once. Asalu, the chindan. Asalu.